Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome back to another video. Uh, I actually got some crazy stuff here today, and uh, it's not stuff I normally do because it costs a lot of money. But the Porsche Cayman S, I'm trying to transform into a GT4 killer and something that I'm trying to make very, very, very unique. You guys know the E91 M3 build that's kind of collecting dust back there in the corner. Um, is a build I've been building for two years and I'm never gonna sell that car because it's completely a custom one of one car. Um, this one right over here, I do have a lot of custom goals to it. Um, more of like a GT4 theme, but at the same time adding my own little touch to it as well. Um, that being said, I got some Apex wheels. Uh, I think I announced it on Instagram what kind of Apex wheels, uh, but these are Forge, uh, which is my first Forge sets of wheels uh, and they're new. So that's <laughs> fancy. Um, my wife doesn't know about these, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but uh, all jokes aside, this is definitely justifiable for this car. I absolutely love this car so far. I haven't even got to drive it yet, but if you just want to sit inside of it, it is so sporty. And uh, I decided, you know what? I really want to get some really sick wheels for it and check these bad boys out. Dude, that's sick. What the heck? These look absolutely insane. I actually got some custom decals for this car that's actually in the exact same color as these wheels. We're surprised. I put them side by side and they're exactly the same color. So the theme for the exterior is like super, super, super sick. And actually the center caps, I went ahead and placed an order for some red ones um, because my calipers are red and I think it's going to be a nice touch. So I guess we'll find out here in a little bit. Uh, but for the meantime, Jonathan did recommend that we actually ceramic coat these before we actually slap it on the car. Um, so we're going to actually do that. Uh, but before we actually do that, I'm actually going to get some, some tires mounted uh, first. So we're actually heading down to Apex. Um, it's funny, Apex wheels, we're heading on to Apex. Apex Auto Center, I think. Typically, you want a ceramic coat before you put any tires on, but because we're in a time scrunch, uh, today yeah. was just the day that we had to get the tires on, so. Yeah, but um, yeah, we're heading it down to Apex Auto Center right now to install some Apexes. <laughs> they're not the same company, two completely different companies, but um, it's just weird, they're both with Apex, so. <laughs> Anyways, let's get these bad boys. Oh, by the way, so the tires are actually going with this car as well. Let's just say this setup, it didn't cost me six grand, but it's a six grand setup. Yeah, that's expensive. It cost bro. me about, like, it still cost me, a, like, I, I don't want to say exactly the numbers. It's the most expensive set of wheels I ever purchased with tires, for sure. The tires I paid full price, and the wheels, I got a, I got a good discount, but I honestly paid a good chunk for these as well. So long story short, this is the most expensive set I ever purchased, so I'm super excited to throw them on the car and hope I can justify this transaction. So let's get to it. <laughs> By the way, I think I forgot to mention, uh, these wheels, I actually got them. Um, the reason why I got a good deal on them is because I actually went through uh, Keys Motorsports. So shout out to Keys Motorsports. Um, they literally have a bunch of different kinds of wheels, um, and honestly, their communication, their customer service is better than any other company I've dealt with, especially uh, for being kind of a middleman um, for some of these items. So again, a few special shout outs to actually uh, getting me these sets as fairly quickly as possible because these were on back order, just an FYI. So they were able to communicate and get me these wheels because I really, really, really wanted them in this exact color. Um, and actually, I don't know if I showed them this, uh, Apex kind of released a new style. So the logo here is actually different for the rears um, than the front. I'm kind of okay with that. It's not a big deal as long as the colors are the exact same, which they are. Um, if you guys look at the logo as well, the logo is different as well. Uh, let me know down below guys. You guys like the newer logo or the older logo? Uh, you guys saw the other wheel. Let me know. So guys, we just got back from Apex Auto Center. Um, unfortunately, I did a huge mistake and I forgot that uh, I needed to bring my stock wheels to get the valve stems off. Um, so we ended up buying valve stems. It's always something, it's always something. <laughs> but anyways, we got beautiful tires. This tire is a little bit dirty because of all the stuff, but check out how beautiful this tire looks, bro. Bro, it looks phenomenal. Oh my God. I love this texture right here on the Michelin. <laughs> this right here is worth the three, four hundred dollars a tire. That's crazy, bro. Three, four hundred a tire. Come I have a little dude. bit of brain damage myself, <laughs> but I mean, it looks phenomenal. And I always wanted to kind of spoil myself with a beautiful set of forged wheels, beautiful tires. Uh, now the only thing is the center cap, which not a lot of you guys are gonna agree with, but same thing with the 435. When I went kind of bold on the center caps, you guys liked it eventually. So I'm trying to start the trend, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so anyways, we got the gold wheels. Um, this is the Apex, the old Apex logo. This one right here is the new Apex logo. Again, kind of controversial, which one you guys like more? Um, let me know down below. But we're gonna go ahead and just slap on the center caps anyways until the new set comes in. I'm trying to reach out to them and trying to get a full set uh, of the same exact generation and the exact same color. 
So that's probably gonna be another week, week and a half out. We're not gonna wait that long to put on the wheels because I'm too excited. So <laughs> without further ado, let's go ahead. For, actually, what are we doing right now? We're so just, actually, we're gonna ceramic coat them. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that on video. Coat them first, but I wanna make these, make sure these things are mint. Yeah. Let's go ahead and get these wheels ceramic coated. All right, guys. So I'm gonna be ceramic coating the wheels. I'm gonna quickly show you guys how to do it. It's pretty simple. Um, there's just a few steps that you have to go through. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that on camera for Nor real quick. Um, let's go ahead and show you the ceramic coating that I have. So the ceramic coating I have over here is this Adams UV, specifically meant for wheels. So it's uh, Adams wheels, ceramic coating for wheels. I think it's the UV one. Uh, I still have some left. I don't know if you can see. I've, and I've done about like four sets of wheels. So we still have a good amount left, probably enough for this set plus two other sets maybe. So we'll see. And then you got the applicator pads right here. Uh, you're gonna need applicator pads if you guys do end up doing this. And I do recommend that anytime you get a brand new set of wheels, before you mount them onto the car, make sure to ceramic coat them. They need to be as clean as possible. So they're gonna be super clean from factory. We're still gonna wipe them down with a microfiber towel and then we're gonna go ahead and ceramic coat them. Uh, just one coat on each is all it needs. And then uh, we'll throw them on the car and then I guess we'll try to do the brake calipers for Nora as well. So let's go ahead and jump into that whole process. Pretty much I'm gonna be wiping this off from any dust that might be on it. And then I'm gonna put the ceramic coating on. <laughs> And essentially we're just gonna take a little bit of this stuff and put it on the applicator pad and uh, rub it on just one layer. And you gotta do it pretty quick because otherwise if it uh, beads up, then it's gonna stay like that on the wheel. So we gotta be quick with it. so far of your well it looks fantastic man i honestly want to stop him on today but you said we have to keep it off the car for a day about a day like 24 hours it has to cure um, that looks insane dude i forgot it has to cure but it does look good i mean it's not going to change the appearance of it but once it's cured essentially if you guys don't know how ceramic coating works on wheels like if you get any brake dust on your wheels and you pressure wash with a ceramic coating if you already have it ceramic coated and you pressure wash uh your your wheels any brake dust will just come right off it's so nice it's so i don't know it's my favorite thing when it comes to cars is having ceramic coated wheels uh just making the the wheels clean with the ceramic coating is just so satisfying so if you have a brand new set of wheels do not install them until you put ceramic coating on your car like seriously ceramic coat them spend the 70 dollars on the ceramic coating kit it is worth it and it's very easy to do like you guys kind of saw all you have to do is put on some gloves you just go one by one make sure you do every single piece nothing too heavy it doesn't need a whole lot the bottle lasts for like five sets six sets of wheels maybe so it is definitely worth the investment let me get you guys some b-roll before i actually get into the details And just like that, guys, the wheels look so, so, so much better. Honestly, guys, I think this complements the car very, very nicely. Now, this car needs about a four finger drop, which means the front end will also drop four, uh, four fingers, which I think will literally not make it on any of the driveways that I have to go on. So if you guys look at the E91 M3, the way it's lowered, it's slammed right on the wheel, but I still got about maybe five fingers and even a whole fist that I could put down there underneath the front lip. But for this car right now, at the current height, it's probably staying at the same height as the E91 M3, but as you guys can see, it's got a monster gap. So yeah, when we actually drop this thing, it's gonna look like, <laughs> it's gonna look insane. Now the good news is in the front of the car, it's just the tub, so, um, and a, a bunch of skid plates. So it's not like we're gonna be cracking an oil pan or anything like that. As long as I don't see any speed bumps and as long as there's no speed bumps in my area, I should be able to make it home. So. 
think I'm good. I think I'm good. And it was just gonna go ahead and conclude this video. I wanna go ahead and try to get a bunch of videos out. Again, separate videos for everything Porsche related for those of you guys who are trying to build a 981 Porsche. Um, so this video again is targeted for those of you guys who are trying to build one and show you guys a set of wheels that I think look absolutely phenomenal on this car. Now before I end this video again, I got these from Keys Motorsports. Make sure to check them out. They also have promotions and discounts so you guys can get on these wheels. So make sure to check them out down below. I already got in a set of coilovers from Keys Motorsports as well. It's going to be going on the 981. So that's going to be a video here pretty soon. But I want to do a full rear end conversion, which is going to be coming probably in the next video, which is a full GTS rear conversion. I'm talking taillights. I'm talking diffuser um, that we actually got off of this donor car Porsche. Um, so yeah, for those of you guys who are new to the channel, I started a business that's called Natty Auto Parts. And I pretty much sell a bunch of BMW parts all around me. I pretty much started building cool stuff like that, uh, E91 M3. And I decided, you know what? I want to help other people build cars. And I also want to get some cars like that Porsche to help me build my car. So um, it's just kind of a boy with the, you know, toys that wanted bigger toys and, uh, it's figured to turn it into a business. So that's kind of the story. But long story short, I'm blessed, super happy. Got a donor car. We've got a lot of parts off of this car um, to build this up. And uh, thankfully, this actually came with some upgraded parts as well, which really worked out. So again, that's going to have to conclude the video. I'll see you guys in the next video, but hopefully a lot more mods. Peace out.